Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we ended up summoning for Mugetsu Ichigo. We have the summon video out, and not gonna lie, it was actually insanely lucky. Really happy with the summons. Uh, finally, after about four and a half years, I finally redid uh, Mugetsu Ichigo, because the last one was a okay character, but just not that insane. But now we're getting a much better character, one of the best power characters in the entire game. I think he's the best, but obviously we're gonna have to try him out. Um... I've heard that his strong attack kit is actually pretty good, so I can't wait to actually try it out in-game. And, uh, yeah, let's go over his kit real quick. We ended up getting him 1-5 only. I'm not, I wasn't trying to chase dupes. Uh, he is a hollow killer, which is perfect, because it is hollow IT right now, if I am not mistaken. Uh, he has the soul trait of team party strong attack damage plus 20%, so if, if you're in a team, you are also buffing them. Or in guild quest, you can put him as a link on someone like Akon, and you'll end up buffing your Unahana, for example. Uh, so, yeah, really, really nice. He has weakened on all of his strong attacks. He has Sprinter plus 3. He has Long Shred and Complete Status Immunity, which is exactly like the Art Burk Ichigo like 2 3 years ago, uh, except it was Sprinter plus 2. I love these innate skills. My favorite innate skills in the game. Shared would have been better. Shared Complete Status Immunity, but I'm not going to complain. Uh, he has uh, the uh, Berserker damage of 50%, uh, recharged by 12%. Uh, he has Havoc plus 20%, Frenzy of 2, a Bombardment of 1, Increased SP Chance against uh, Hollows, uh, Team Party Increase, that's his link, uh, Damage to Weakened Enemies plus 40%, Weakened Defense as well, whenever you slow bomb, you'll be weakening them as well, on top of your already weakening from your strong attacks, uh, Marauder, he has Hit 10 Enemies plus 100%, and then he has the SP Boost of 100%. So, yeah, absolutely insanely stacked character, cannot wait to actually try him out, and look at that smug look. <laughs> it looks so funny. I don't know if I like the face as much, but the model looks better. The model does look better. Uh, like, when you compare them side by side. Like, there's just more detail. Uh, but, like, the, the, ang the little angy face on this one is just... I don't know which one I like more, to be honest. But he's just like, what are you doing, bro? But, uh, yeah. Let's just hop into uh, some IT real quick. Alright, so let's just look at his moveset real quick. So, his melee. Okay. Looks pretty clean for his nad string. His SA1. Oh, I like that. <laughs> his SA2. Okay, fair enough. And then SA3. Yeah, it's like him transformation, transforming into Mugetsu like that. That's kind of what it resembles. Uh, let's just go right here to the SA1. Okay, so it's not, I don't know why I was thinking it was a lunge. The SA2 is the lunge. Okay. Let's go right there. Up here into the full screen. SA1. And the lunge. He feels really solid, but obviously, this is like. Getting the SP boost also fairly quick, or fairly often, but it is Hollow Week, or month, or whatever it would be considered, so. And I got hit. <laughs> God damn it. I, I don't know the spawns on this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but he's still doing really fine. Uh, I'm gonna wait for my strong attacks to recover just a little bit, go up here. Into the SA2. They're already all dead. Did not need to do that. But uh, let's just jump in, soul bomb, and see how it looks. I haven't seen the soul bomb yet. Weird that he actually moves, considering we never saw him actually move with the Mugetsu, and he doesn't say Mugetsu. Which is like, I think my only gripe about the character and him not having two killers. I forgot to mention that. But he never ha he doesn't have two killers, which is a bit weird. I kind of wish he did for a such a hype character. But other than that, insane. <laughs> I mean, he feels really good, really solid. Uh, but I'm going to bring in the co-op IT now and uh, try him out and see how well he does. I assume he's going to be really, really good. Alright, and then if you're curious, by the way, this is what I was using, the T-Set, Fortification Pillow, Lieutenant's Badge, and then these are my links. These are just my only maximum sided power links, so this is what I end up using. Alright, let's go into the SA-1, go right here, into the SA-2, SA-3, into the SA-1 again. Yeah, he, he's, he feels so nice. Obviously, he does have Killer, which is like the best time to use him. Ooh, I, I could have done that a little bit better. I'm going to drag this guy up here so that way I can go for the SA3. Into the SA1. Oh. One little guy down there. No problem. Yeah, he feels really, really good. SA1. I'm going to wait a little bit. I'm not trying to be caught against the uh, 
Aizen over here without a strong attack ready. Okay, so we can't, we didn't one-shot him. I don't think we proc'd SP boost, that's why. Let's go with the SA2. And the SA1. There we go. Yeah, even at just 1-5, he feels insane. Like, I don't think it's the fastest run I could possibly do, but um, I just want to showcase a very average run, to be fair. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. <laughs> God dang it, I got stuck at the bottom. But, it's fine. He doesn't have like much full stam damage, so him taking a little bit of damage doesn't change that much. I think all of my links are strong attack damage. And then, oh, yeah. One little guy lived at the <laughs> uh, I think I'll do one more run and then that'll just be it because I don't have a lot of time today, but uh, he's insane. I think we get his guild quest later today, if I'm not mistaken. So I might end up doing a guild quest run as well later today and showcase him tomorrow. But I can't remember. I just want to get the IT one done first. All right, final IT run. Let's just go right on in. Into the SA2. Into the SA3. Into the beam SA1. I missed a guy back here somehow. Okay, they just like got... Pushed away, I guess. Weird. Let's go with the SA2 right there. SA1. Into the middle, SA3. Dude, I keep missing, like, one enemy. <laughs> Stop that. Just die. Let's get the SA2 right there. Uh... Okay. Okay. Into the SA1. SA3. There we go. Okay, there we go. I was really scared that the eyes was gonna like sneak attack me, like he usually always does. But we are chilling. Ooh, yet again, I keep missing a little mob with the SA1. Just a skill issue though, so I mean. There we go. And I should be able to just jump in and so on and easily nuke the entire field. Um, one little mop. Nope. Okay. So as long as you're like right here, you should nuke everybody. Last time I got like stuck right here, so I didn't nuke them all, and I wasn't at full stem. One sixteen. Obviously, you could definitely go faster, but <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to go for a super fast time. He's a super consistent, easy, clear character. Obviously, I wish we could try it off it, but both its are with his killer and that's his main thing because he increases SP chance against hollow enemies. So I'm not too sure how it's gonna go without hollow enemies. He might be fine. It may be a two minute clear uh, off killer, but we'll have to see. Kinda curious how he's going to perform, but yeah. Um, I think that is going to be the video for it. Let me know down below how your summons went. If you ended up summoning, uh, let me know how you feel about him. I think he's absolutely insane. And uh, yeah, take care. Peace out. Have an amazing day.